This is Kasarani, a metropolitan residential estate 10 kilometers south of Nairobi city. For decades now, many estates around Nairobi, including Kasarani, have faced a health care challenge. This is as a result of lack of adequate health centers, unequipped facilities, and population. The Little Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi was founded 95 years ago in Uganda by the late Mother Mary Kevin Kearney, a Franciscan missionary. The sisters' vocation is to give special attention to the needs of all those who are physically, spiritually, psychologically, mentally, and materially poor. It is with this spirit and servitude that they decide to open a facility that would endeavor to serve its community according to its guiding principles. And thus, in 1993, the sisters started to offer first aid services to nursery school children over a desk as there was no structure to house a clinic. Later on, the same nursery school grew to be a school that had to be relocated as more classes were required. The same building that hosted a first aid desk was proposed to be a dispensary to offer antenatal services to women around the community. This steady progress led to the birth of St. Francis Community Hospital on 29th January 2009 as a Level 3 hospital. In a rapid span of nine years, it has grown to a Level 5 teaching and referral hospital. St. Francis Community Hospital was officially blessed and opened in the year 2009. That's when it has run as a hospital. And uh, since then, only in a span of nine years, so much has taken place. After its opening, it was accredited by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board to operate as a Level 3 hospital. And uh, since then, it has scaled to a level five teaching and referral hospital. And we are offering all the specialized services that one would look for in Nairobi, for which we are confident that anyone coming to St. Francis is able to access those services in the most quality and affordable manner. It has grown very fast. And before we had very few patients as it was growing, but today the capacity is overwhelming. This growth has been triggered by a number of things, including staff to patient ratio, staff qualification and competence, diversity in healthcare, among other things. Initially, this facility was made up of five main departments, the outpatient, the maternity ward, surgical ward, and medical ward. As the patient numbers grew, the medical services continued to vary and the demand for diversified emergency response and medical attention arose. To better handle these emergency cases, a team was constituted and fortified. In accident and emergency unit, we receive patients with life-threatening issues, others referral from other hospitals, whereby we manage them and admit them to the respective wards, ICU and theater. To date, St. Francis has a number of clinics under its facility. They include obstetric, gynecology, urology, surgical, pediatric, neurosurgery, psychiatry, well women and well baby, voluntary counseling and testing, orthopedic, physiotherapy, as well as ear, nose and throat clinics. The clinics are also supported by a robust and efficient laboratory performing a wide range of services as well as the imaging department with state-of-the-art equipment including ultrasound, CT scan and MRI. 24-hour coverage is facilitated through leveraging of teleradiology. There are a lot of changes which has taken place. We used to do only the basic testing. Right now we have uh, attained the status of being doing the specialized testing. And also on top of that, and we have been accredited, which has been also a long journey for us. But finally, we have the accreditation certificate for ISO 15189. Uh, currently, we are able to do our reports promptly and be able to give the patients the required services within the scheduled time and also attend, meet the requirements by the consultant's needs. Accreditation means that we are able to offer services that are meeting the international standards in that we are able to give the results that other internationally recognized institutions give. We are planning to acquire an MRI equipment which will be able to complement the equipment which, are, uh, which we have currently. Uh, MRI will come in handy in uh, 
assisting in the, in the advanced diagnosis and uh, there's the details which are not able to be done with the CT scan. These clinics increased the number of patients who would come with conditions that would require immediate operative services and therefore two additional state-of-the-art operating theatres were constructed to meet this need. In theatre, uh, we, we do surgeries. When we report on duty in the morning, we check the night report, uh, the number of the cases or surgeries that were done at night. And then uh, we also get a report of the cases that are supposed to be done on the day. And they are, they are categorized into two. We have emergency cases and we have elective cases. And then now we need to prioritize. For the emergency cases, we start with them first, and then the elective list can follow later. The hospital has various wards that are tailored to meet various clients' needs. The maternity ward was one of the pioneer wards in the facility, which has grown in leaps and bounds. From an initial birth rate of one to two mothers per day, and now has reason steadily to offer quality, affordable maternity and child services. The unit has highly dedicated staff who cater to the women's needs in an efficient manner. My day-to-day -day activities involve uh, coming in the morning, getting the report from the night duty staffs, uh, specifically how the ward has been, how the mothers have been at night, who have delivered, the situation they are in, how the babies are, then uh, going around to check them physically, see how each one is faring on. Then after that, uh, we allocate ourselves uh, according to the patients we have. Then uh, we take uh, the responsibility of taking care of the mothers, then, which includes going for the ward rounds with the doctors, uh, checking any issues with the mothers, and uh, doing uh, what is supposed to be done to those who have issues. Then uh, monitoring those ones who are in labor and uh, taking them through labor and delivery and also taking care of the babies, their babies. The unit, in addition, has its own maternity theater dedicated exclusively to the mothers who require urgent operative delivery for a positive outcome. The unit aims to continuously strive to align with achieving and sustaining the fifth millennium development goal. Other general wards in the facility include male and female medical wards, male and female surgical wards, pediatric wards, the newborn unit, as well as executive ward. I'm a resident doctor here at St. Francis Community Hospital. I head the internal medicine department. Uh, the department deals with adult problems that involve uh, diseases like diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, severe infections like malaria, TB, HIV, AIDS, kidney problems, cancer problems, and heart problems, amongst many other diseases that affect um, the adults. I also had the internship training and the program here. In a surgical ward, we admit patients with various conditions. These patients, when they come to our department, we receive them, we evaluate them, we prepare them for theater, hand them over. When the operations are done, they are brought back to their ward. We take care of them, give them their due medication, and when they are stable, they're discharged home. Some patients' conditions could be critical in nature, and this then prompted St. Francis Community Hospital to construct a 12-bed intensive care unit and high dependency unit to offer specialized critical care to its clients. In addition, some critical clients may have a myriad of conditions affecting their health, including, but not limited to kidney failure. Thus, the renal unit was constituted to offer dialysis services to its clients, even on outpatient basis. Recently, um, we opened up uh, our dialysis center and we are glad uh, that many patients that were referred previously, who came to the hospital, who could not be assisted, and uh, now we can be able to treat them here. We do not have to uh, refer them. Right now we have ICU services which began in 2016. We are now almost two years old. And we admit all types of ICU emergencies like head injury, respiratory distress and so on. We have adequate personnel 
who are really specialized in different areas. And also, we've started dialysis in our ICU. As we know that critically ill patients usually get kidney challenges. All operations are fully automated and computerized with a highly innovative information system, therefore making the hospital to be a rich source of data that can aid in conducting quality research that could offer a source of reference on policy issues. The hospital has a robust hospital management system, uh, which has helped greatly improve uh, delivery of healthcare uh, by improving the uh, turnaround time of the patient, or rather in reducing the turnaround time. We are able to store uh, electronic medical records for our patients. Doctors are able to request lab tests and any other diagnostic tests online, and they're able to receive results online. Over the years, uh, the hospital has, has grown uh, through increases in numbers. We've seen uh, increase in revenue collection. We've seen uh, patients' uh, numbers going high because of efficiency through the use of ICT. Doctors and nurses appreciate using the system because it makes their work easy, uh, increasing their efficiency. St. Francis Community Hospital plans to open a full cat lab for patients with heart conditions, additional specialized theaters, endoscopy and laparoscopy, oncology, conferencing facility, commercial oxygen plant, as well as short stay units to continue offering an even wider array of services. We find that we have experienced quite significant growth since we were commissioned as a level three facility um, in November of 2017. Currently, we are a level five teaching and referral hospital. What this means for us is that we are able to offer comprehensive services to our clients, both from the outpatient to the inpatient setting. If we look at, for example, the kind of surgical services we offer, I think we pride ourselves in being one of the highest volume center for pediatric reconstruction surgeries. So this is for children who suffer from hypospadias or anorectal malformations. We also do quite a lot of uh, complex neurosurgical procedures from those that are related to trauma and bleeding within the cranial vault to excisions of tumors um, and other spine surgeries that as may be required. We also have um, top level critical care, so intensive care facilities, high dependence uh, unit facilities, above and beyond that for patients who would require renal replacement services, what is commonly known as dialysis, we also offer that both in an inpatient and an outpatient capacity. Where do we see ourselves as a facility within the next few years? We are looking at telemedicine as both uh, a service we can offer to clients around and also as a teaching facility for the specialists who come here to partner with facilities in India and the United States so that we can also offer second opinion to our clients. We also find ourselves moving into the teaching of postgraduate students as we continue to enhance our facilities. The members of staff from different cadres are led in prayer every weekday and in mass every first and third Friday of the month by Father Kizito, the hospital's chaplain. My role as a chaplain in the St. Francis Community Hospital involves accompanying patients, those who are admitted and those in the outpatient, and also in a particular way, the terminally ill patients who, whose condition has to be with them and also in a, in a very particular way those who are at the, they need the end of life care. Every day we start our day with prayers and we ensure that we put the pastoral component of the healing ministry of Jesus in our provision of healthcare services. The staff rededicate themselves to offer quality care to the best of their knowledge and capacity to their patients. Patients are also involved highly, participating in church services and also services specially created for them in the wards. This fosters healing and acceptance of treatment by the patients and highlights the beautiful relationship between the church and its duty to care. The Little Sisters of Assisi also double up as clinicians and consultants in their various fields of expertise, 
applying medical skills along with their call to servitude to take care of patients. St. Francis is a hospital which is based on faith. We have many patients flowing in and we are offering different facilities. We are happy with the work that we are doing and we have hope that St. Francis Community Hospital is not only just going to be a hospital, but the best hospital in Nairobi, where patients will be able to come and get all the services that they need. And out of the faith that we have, we believe God is going to be with us and is going to guide us. The vision, mission and core values of St. Francis underscore its commitment to community service. This has been demonstrated continually over the years with numerous community outreach projects conducted. In addition, the hospital has planned and executed various successful medical camps in different specialities to offer free consultations and highly subsidized testing and treatment for the community at large. The outreach team notifies about the camps through engagement in the local community and on the material week. Uh, St. Francis has been conducting outreach activities since 2009 and it is one of the key, key activities that we value because it brings change to the lives of the people who do not have access to the healthcare services. And uh, it is more ben beneficial to the community because it is we, we are taking the services closer to them and uh, the sick ones are taken care of. Those who need health education, they are provided. Those who need diagnost uh, diagnostic services, it is done, it is uh, provided to them. And uh, those who are sick, they are treated and they are given medicine and they get better and they go about their business. Uh, we have been organizing uh, outreach programs uh, outside the St. Francis Community Hospital, uh, where we go out there and offer our professional services uh, to various uh, patients in need. Uh, this year we decided to change the model of our outreach program and we have organized uh, two successful uh, outreach programs within the hospital. Uh, the first one was organ we organized in early February. Uh, we christened it an uh, annual orthopedic camp uh, where we reached about uh, 660 patients. Among those ones that we screened during the first phase, we managed to operate about uh, 30 patients and we are privileged to collaborate with doctors from uh, Kenyatta National Hospital and uh, other partner hospitals within the, the country. Last month, we organized our annual inaugural gynecological camp uh, where we screened about uh, 858 patients. We are planning to operate uh, 25 out of those who are screened and who are eligible for surgery. This has been an unprecedented number and one of the reasons why we organize for the outreach program is above all to offer professional services. And uh, we also try as much as possible to teach uh, uh, the employees the art of uh, volunteerism and philanthropy. Throngs of people from all walks of life fill up the hospital. They are registered with customer care department and therefore engage with one-on-one -on -one consultation with specialized doctors and consultants in partnership with St. Francis Community Hospital. In the cases where the medical conditions diagnosed require surgery, these specialized consultants perform all the surgeries, facilitated in collaboration with the National Hospital Insurance Fund, popularly known as NHIF. Some of the changes I've seen in the surgical department is that patients don't have a burden when they have to pay their bills. Since partnering with the National Hospital Insurance Fund with their surgical packages, uh, they are able to pay for the bed charges and also for the operations, which make, uh, makes it easier for the patients during this charge. These camps and day-to-day -day activities within the facility give the medical staff, the teaching staff and religious staff a sense of well-being, a duty of care and fulfillment when they care for the clients to the point of healing and satisfaction. We have to ensure that we give the best care to our patients and in this we hire professional nurses who have, who have undergone the training of nursing, uh, either diploma or they have done a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And this is how you also benchmark with other facilities, what are the services they are offering. We also have a feedback mechanism from our patients whereby the patients will address what they felt was not done well and through that it's when we are able to improve our services to our patients. Also when you are taking care of our patients, 
there is a guide that guides us on the way to give the quality care of our patients. In addition to this, St. Francis Community Hospital has helped evacuate and treat hundreds of people injured in accidents along Thika Road Superhighway and even along Kasarani Mwiki Road. Many are injured in border-border related accidents and injuries. For those clients who need end-of-life care, they are handled with adequate supportive care, prayer, good nutrition and proper pain relief in a bid to restore and retain their dignity until their end of life. Quality and affordable care remains true at the heart of St. Francis Community Hospital, which led to its ISO certification in 2015. Uh, the journey to ISO certification, ISO 9001 2015, started from an idea that was put in our strategic plan for 2014-2019, where the management found it is best for the hospital to be accredited as a channel of improving the care that we give for patients. So the journey starts with capacity building. You have to ensure that each and every staff in the hospital is trained on the ISO standards, the requirements on how to conform, and what to do when the requirements are not conformed to. On 25th October 2018, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mrs. Margaret Kenyatta, visited St. Francis Community Hospital to officially open and launch the new Mother Kevin Lighthouse World. Our very loving and beautiful First Lady, Anika, 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 She also acknowledged the immense work, input, effort and outreach that has been done by the Little Sisters the healthcare workers and various partnerships to reach as many people within the community in need of the specialized services. She was especially grateful for the zeal and spirit within which the Little Sisters as well as the healthcare workers have in providing quality and affordable care, which is well aligned with her unwavering efforts to achieve universal healthcare through the Beyond Zero campaign. You went well beyond your call to offer religion by including education, healthcare, and training for people in this community. I know that you seek to continue to provide quality care for the thousands of women and children who seek your help. I'm especially grateful for the medical camp that you held recently as a precursor to this event. Thank you to all those who gave their time and employed their skill to heal. This is the same spirit that we rely on to support us during our Beyond Zero safaris in different counties. In conclusion, I acknowledge all the partners who have helped you in this journey that you started many years ago, and I call on many more to join you in this noble work. May God continue to bless you abundantly. Thank you. This aligns with the hospital's vision, mission, and core values by continuing to provide holistic quality healthcare, which is available, accessible, affordable, and sustainable. On behalf of the Little Sisters of St. Francis, the Board of Trustees, the Hospital Advisory Board, and the Hospital Management Team, I would like to invite all of you and to welcome all of you to St. Francis Community Hospital as our partners, as our clients, where we promise and we want to convince you that you will experience holistic, affordable and quality healthcare services like none other in Nairobi or none other in the country and even in East Africa, where we treat and God heals. Through commitment to health ethics and love of Christ, combined with teamwork, professionalism, honesty, integrity, innovation, ownership and respect, there is no doubt that St. Francis Community Hospital is and will remain the preferred faith-based healthcare provider of choice. <laughs>